Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial from windowslovers.com and today we're going to look into some of the workarounds to get your Microsoft screen share working again. So this is an issue a lot of users have faced with Microsoft Teams uh, but it hasn't been addressed by Microsoft. So there's a lot of workarounds that have been mentioned in the forums but the ones that have worked for me are adding a third person to the screen share or using the web version of Microsoft Teams. The first option where you add another person to the screen share might not be usable for a lot of users for privacy reasons but most of the times when you do that the other person who has been added to the group doesn't really see what's been shared. I will go into much detail when I start showing you how to do it and then I'll also show you how to disable your GPU on Microsoft Teams because a lot of users have mentioned in the forum that that has helped them and that has got their screen share back. All right. First, let's see how you can get your Microsoft screen share back by adding a third person to the chat. It's quite straightforward. So if you open your Microsoft Teams app, and this is my second account that I've created just for the purpose of this video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share the screen and depending on what you want to share, we'll just select that. and the other person will accept it. And what you would do is, you would go click on show participants and you will go and add someone to the group. So I don't have a third account for me to add, but what you would do is you will just add someone here. And once you've invited that person, um, that person doesn't have to accept it but if that person is added to the group you will be able to see what the other person is sharing so this has to be done by the person who is receiving the screen share so for example if hacking my 92 is the person who should be seeing my screen so I would start a screen share normally from the app and then on the other end so hacking my 92 whoever the user might be they will have to click on show participants and they will have to add another person in the group chat and that way um, hacking my 92 will be able to see whatever I'm sharing so that has worked for me until now so I haven't had any issues with it um, after I found this workaround but this might not be so another thing when it comes to privacy is that um, hacking my 92 and me so we are, might be sharing something very confidential so we don't want any other person to see it so in that case what I found is the third person that's added to the screen share uh, gets invited to the screen share but that person doesn't see anything on the screen all right so what you can also do is once you start the screen share with hacking my 92 and hacking my 92 goes and adds another person to the screen share and what you can do is you can invite that person and then take that person off the group chat. So that way Hacking My 92 will still be able to see whatever you're sharing. It might be a bit confusing so if you need any help please make sure you leave it in the comments below and then I'll get back to you. But that's one workaround that definitely should work for you. But if it does not, so, so another workaround is to use the web version of Microsoft Teams. So for example, if I'm the person who needs to see what the other person is sharing. So what I would do is I'll go ahead, I'll go to teams.microsoft.com. I'll go to teams.microsoft.com and I'll log in with my account. And after I've logged in, then I'll ask the person to share the screen and I will accept it from the web version of Microsoft Teams. So in that way, I will be able to see whatever the person is sharing. I hope that was clear. So whoever has to see the screen share or the content that's been shared in screen share will have to log into Teams or Microsoft.com in a browser and then initiate the screen share. That way you will be able to see what the other person is sharing. All right. So the third thing you might try if this is not working or if you don't want to add another person to the screen share is you click on your profile you click on settings and you will see there will be an option called disable GPU hardware acceleration so you will click on it and you will close it you'll close Microsoft Teams um, but the Microsoft Teams will still be running in the background so you gotta click here and right click on Microsoft Teams and quit 
and reopen Microsoft Teams. So now Microsoft Teams is not using GPU acceleration. So give it a go and see if this helps. I hope this has helped. Um, please leave any comments if you have any uh, issues or any questions. Um, and also if you have any other workarounds, please leave it in the comments below so that it can help other people. Thank you for being here. Give this video a thumbs up if this has helped and subscribe for more. Thank you.